Hello everyone. In this video, I will start talking about a new chapter, asphalt binders and asphalt mixtures. We drive on asphalt roadways every day, and approximately 96% of U.S. roadways are surfaced with asphalt. Asphalt concrete is a mixture of asphalt, cement, and aggregates. They are thoroughly mixed and compact into a mass. In asphalt concrete, um, about 75 to 85% of volume or 92 to 96% of weight are aggregates. So as shown in this uh, figure, um, this is a core uh, drilled from a typical roadway that shows a cross-section of the asphalt within. You can see a coarse mix of the asphalt in the lower section and the finer mix design in the surface layer. This fine mix is less permeable and keeps water from penetrating down and causing cracks to form. Asphalt cement um, in industry is also called asphalt binders um, because they bind aggregates together um, it's a sticky, black, and highly viscous liquid or semi-solid. It acts as a, the glue that holds the aggregates together, and as for binders alone, um, is also used for sealing um, and waterproofing purpose. It only makes up um, about 5% of the mix, but it's the glue that holds everything together, so it's very important. Um, it's designed to be a strong, yet somewhat elastic adhesive. Before 1850s, asphalt came from natural pools found in various locations throughout the world, such as Trinidad Lake Asphalt. Um, this figure shows the Trinidad Lake, which is still mined today. And today, um, practically all asphalt cement is from refined petroleum. So this figure shows the um, fractional distillation process. Um, basically, crude oil is heated in a large furnace to about um, 650 degrees Fahrenheit and partially vaporized. It's then fed into a distillation tower where the lighter components um, vaporize and uh, are drawn off and the residue uh, from this process generates asphalt binder. So different products, um, during this process, different products are separated. You can see here at different temperatures. And uh, the main products as shown in this picture, uh, include gasoline, kerosene, and diesel oil. So the asphalt residue um, here um, is a lower valued product than uh, the other components. So the refineries are set up to produce uh, those more valuable fuels. And the asphalt is just a byproduct um, from this process. So it's a byproduct if we don't use it and it's wasted. The quantity and quality of asphalt depends on the source of the crude petroleum. For example, um, Nigerian oils produce very little asphalt. However, many of the Middle Eastern oils uh, have a very high asphalt content. The bituminous materials are classified um, as asphalts and tars. Um, asphalts are mainly used in pavement construction, and asphalt binders are also used as sealing or waterproofing agents. Tars are produced by the destruction, distillation of bituminous coal, or it's produced by cracking petroleum vapors. In the United States, tar is used primarily for waterproofing membranes, such as roofs. 
So you need to know that um, asphalt and tars are two different materials.